Well, the moment has arrived. I've received my uh, new baby snake, and um, I will just go right to opening it. So excited about this little baby. She is going to be a great addition uh, to my breeding and move things forward considerably. breeder uh, named Jim O'Mara from NoCo Exotics and I highly recommend him he is really good um, he's great about answering questions um, he continuously throughout the whole process um, <clears throat> you know was willing to um, you know give me any any information he had oh she looks absolutely gorgeous Little deli cup. Oh, she is so cute. This is a little female spot nose leopard 66% head clown and from the looks of her I have a feeling that she will prove out so this is my key to making Batmans in the future um, I plan on breeding her when she gets of size to um, to caduceus my <clears throat> my pastel possible blade clown um, she is absolutely gorgeous I'll take her out and see if I can give you a little better look at her um, <clears throat> Jim told me that she's just going into shed so it's possible that she might actually be brighter than this um, when she's not in shed you can tell a little bit and she's got a little bit of a haze over her but I'll also do another update video once she finishes shedding but I love her pattern let me see if I can <clears throat> if the camera will pick up um, she's got a beautiful head stamp uh, kind of similar to Caduceus not exactly but she has that sort of V um, <clears throat> on her head. Um, let's see. There you can see it a little bit. I think Put it a little closer. And um, let's see. you can kind of see on the side too. She has a lighter area down near the bottom of her side, and then it gradually goes up to sort of a warm reddish brown color and um, she is absolutely gorgeous and let me see if I can show you her belly she's got a very interesting belly she has <clears throat> it's not completely white she's got some markings on it you can kind of see also on the tail um, she has sort of a vertical stripe going down the edge of her tail on the side and let's see if I can show you yeah there you can see her belly see how she's got this really kind of interesting um, patterning on the belly where um, it's kind of um, kind of like 
little black spots, but sort of larger black spots, not like speckling. Let's see if I can get her to stretch out a little bit. She is absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited to have her. And, um, whoops. Yeah, she's trying to grip on a little bit. She has such a rich coloring to her. And um, her eyes are so beautiful. I don't know if, um, you know, since I can't zoom with this, um, this built-in camera, I'll have to sort of hold her up really close to let you see her eyes. They're kind of a golden, kind of a golden color. Let me see. There you go. You can get another shot of her belly there too. She is absolutely gorgeous. I just can't get over how beautiful she is. I'm really excited about growing her up and seeing what I can produce with her and um, getting a close bonding relationship with her. Um, I'm sure that I will be wanting to hold her all the time. <laughs> and it looks like she pooped and peed a little bit. I think uh, he said that he had um, fed her on Thursday and then again over the weekend. So. Um, She's definitely a good eater, which is always a plus. And I was I was sick yesterday. I was kind of you know I had a flare up of uh, one of my conditions, um, and I was a little worried that I wouldn't be able to speak today because I was you know I was having some uh, congestion in my lungs and, and chest and all that. But luckily today. I feel a whole lot better, so I'm glad I'm going to be able to fully enjoy the new snake. And you can kind of see her stretching out. She's got a beautiful pattern on the side as well. Okay guys, just wanted to uh, give you a good view of the new snake and there will be more videos to come, some updates on her as, as time goes on. And um, also I'm still looking for a mate for Velvet, my six year old butter black pewter. Um, so um, I will be uh, watching everybody's uh, hatchings and everything. Uh, to see if I can find a mate for her, too. That's my, my next order of business. Um, I also am going to get a backup female for Caduceus at some point, probably after the holidays. Um, so um, please leave a comment. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, I would love to have... Uh, you know more subscribers um, I think the, the channel has been growing but uh, kind of slowly because I just sort of put out content as I find things that I think people will be interested in um, my collection is growing it's it's slow but um, you know I'm trying to choose all of my pairings uh, carefully so um, yeah, so please, um, please like, leave a comment, subscribe, uh, and um, there is more to come. Well, thanks for watching.